We're starting to develop the back garden today on Pots and Charles, and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Dalak. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Pots and Trowels and welcome to the garden that we're starting to develop. Here we are, mid-November, perfect time for getting that work done in the garden, soft landscaping. We've got lots of hard landscaping to do at a later date, but for now, we want to concentrate on getting some shapes and forming some borders in the garden. Um, and if I just show you very quickly, this is the, the plan we've done. This is the house. So we're looking at the, the back part of the garden here. That's the direction we're looking. Um, and we want to get some nice shape and movement into there. So we're going to be concentrating on this area uh, over the next couple of weeks to get it ready. Um, and the idea is the garden is going to be divided with an archway so you can walk between the two. And then and later on there'll be a, a patio put in there so we can look at it. So lots of work to do between now and late spring when we're hoping that the back garden will be finished. It is taking a bit longer to do than we thought. We, we have been working on the front garden so I don't mean to think we've not been doing anything. This we thought would just be simply a case of clearing all this overgrown ivy. Originally the conifers came down to here so we've lifted them and there's still some more tidying up to do there but we discovered the remains of an old pond from many, many years ago, a man-made pond, um, and it was just, it had grown over with the ivy. The pond itself had been filled with builder's rubble, which we dug out. But as you can see, there's some huge stones in here that are really, really heavy. The remains of all the old pond liner, all this rock we're finding that must have been some sort of a rockery when it was built probably 50 years ago underneath this ivy. And then we discovered this pile of, well it wasn't a pile, it was all laid in this area just here, but it was covered with soil and all the, the needles that had fallen off the conifers and all the leaf litter over the years. I knew there was a little bit there, but I didn't realize how much. And there's some huge pieces of stone here, including this one. This is the biggest, a great big thick one. We actually thought it might be a gravestone because it's had some uh, letters uh, chiseled into it there, but it isn't a gravestone. I suspect it may be a well cap from years and years ago when this was a small hold in um, because there's a hole there where there's been a pipe going through that's been concreted in. So as far as I'm aware, there's no well under here, but I'm not gonna jump about too much. So the plan is today is to do some shape into the borders. We've actually cleared out all the plants that were either dead or we didn't want. We've done some pruning to vastly reduce the, the size of this viburnum, which was massive. I've never seen one as big. So over the last few days, I've been pruning, got a huge pile and we've got rid of it. So what I'm gonna do is to shape the borders round to get some idea of how they look in proportion. And I'm gonna use for that a hose pipe, really easy to lay it out to get those curvy shapes. So I'm gonna get the hose pipe and we'll start work on that. So what I'm doing is just laying the hose pipe round roughly at this stage because we can adjust it to the shape. So I'm just doing it at this point from memory of looking at the drawing. The reason we're doing this border here is because you can see there's a rather large ugly manhole here uh, which runs across the garden. So at the minute that's in the centre of the lawn and I don't want to see it. So the border will go around that, be planted, ground covers over that. It's still accessible, but it will be disguised. So that's what I'm doing is just feeding that round. And then this piece here, where I've got these pegs in the ground, is to indicate where the archway will be over the top. So the lawn will then follow round like this. So I'm gonna play around with this and we'll get some shapes. So as you can see, I've got the hose pipe out. I've tweaked it a little bit, played around with it. It's roughly to my sketch. It's not 
to scale my sketch. I've had to play around with it a little bit. And what's a good idea is if you've got time is to put your rope or your hose pipe out, leave it for a day or two so you can get used to see in how it looks and then you can adjust it and make minor alterations. So I'm fairly happy with that as it's gonna work out. What it means is, as you can see, I'm gonna to have to lift a fairly large area of grass, but then here where it's soil from the existing border, that will be turfed in. So I'll use that turf to fill that in to give us the shape that they want. So to do that, which I'm going to do is I always use a, a half moon uh, edging iron. That's really good for cutting through the turf. And then I'm going to use my old turfing float um, that I've had many, many years. Used to use this when I was an apprentice. That's really good. Now, not everybody's got one of these. I totally get that. Uh, so you can, of course, make a really good job with just an ordinary spade, which will slide underneath it, which we'll show you how to do in a minute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my edging iron half moon to go round to cut the edge that I want, and then I'll start lifting over there. Little tip when you're doing this is, put your foot on the rope or the hose pipe in this case. If you don't, you push it all over the place. So one foot on it, and then the other foot on there, and you can just push down, lift it up, push down, lift it up, and then move your foot along. And it just makes sure that your rope string line, in this case a hose pipe, doesn't spring out of position. So lifting the turf from here, which is going to be laid over there, before we lay it, I have raked it to get it nice and level so it's flat with the rest of the lawn. And if you want more information on lifting and laying turf, we have done videos in the past, which of course you can find on YouTube. Just subscribe and search for them and have a look. So we better get on with this. There's a lot to do. Right, so as you can see, we're now at the stage where we've pretty much formed the shape of the bed. We've lifted the turf. Jill's turfed in that piece just there with the spare turf we took from this side. So we've got that nice peninsula bed there. And now the bit where we get the soil prepared. So it's forking it over. I'm using a, a good strong digging fork here because I want to get into the full depth of that fork. It's quite compacted. This has been a lawn for many, many years. So it's to get down there and break the soil up and give it a good bash about to break up any lumps. We've also had quite a lot of tree roots in there from the conifer and the apple behind me. So we're just taking those off, just cutting them back with the loppers to get rid of them. We don't want them in this plot while we're cultivating it. So that's going to take us a day or so to get that all ready. And then to get the soil in really good condition, because although it's, it's not bad soil at all, it's lacking organic matter because it's been a lawn. So we're putting in some of this wonderful compost and this is from our friends at Plant Grow that was spare from when we did the vegetable gardens in the spring. And it's, it's their mulch come soil conditioner. And it's just a case of having a sprinkling over the areas when we forked it over. The worms will help to take that in, or you could just fork it into the surface to get a lovely planting bed. And we'll be planting this in a couple of weeks time, starting to do the planting, and then, you know, we can work our way around the garden. But before then, I've got quite a bit of digging to do.
Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials, and don't forget you can watch all the videos we've done over the past few years on YouTube, and also we've got our new podcast, which you can listen to from your regular podcast provider. Next week, we're going to have a quick catch-up in the veg garden, so we'll see you then. Bye. Thank you.